Hi everyone, welcome back to the Anglet with Abby Kimani. Of course, this is Ask Abby why I answer the questions that are in this bowl. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me, please feel free to post it in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. But for now, let's move on straight to question number one. Hey Abby, do you think I should look for my boyfriend online? Well, do I? Do I not? Well, a lot of people especially say that 40, there's a 40% chance that you'll find your <coughs> soulmate online. I think that um, there's, it's, it's good to find like, you know, someone online, but you know, there's also dangers. But it's also good to find someone physically, but then again, they are also dangerous. So do I think you should find your boyfriend online? Honestly, it's up to you. Because sometimes physical dating, like finding someone physically, just doesn't work for people. And sometimes finding people online doesn't work for people. Because everyone is different, and things are just like different for everyone, you know? So you do what works for you best. And you'll know like what to do when the time, when the right time comes. Personally, I'm not like you know thinking of texting anyone, but you should also like try praying for guidance. Maybe God will be like, go online. Like this time, you'll feel like the urge to go online, and then boom, there he or she is. So, but <laughs> let's move on to question number two. Hey, Abby, when is the best time to start a YouTube channel? Honestly, time is always right to do the right thing. So if you feel like right now is the right time to start a YouTube channel, like the video and then go start a YouTube channel. Well, of course, you can't like if you haven't subscribed yet. So subscribe, like, then start your own YouTube channel. And there are like so many, like, I guess like a lot of time and preparation goes into it. But do it when you feel like the time is right. Or if you feel like this starting a youtube channel you don't have to have like a regular posting like time post whenever you feel like it whenever like you're comfortable with it or when you have like su sudden random burst of inspiration like film yourself and then now you post it so like any time really there's not really like best time it's like saying like when should i start like reading storybooks like there's no other best time apart from now so yeah as soon as possible i guess well uh, let's move on to question number three Hi Abby, is school supposed to be enjoyed? <sighs> well, school can be terrifying at times, it can be exhausting at times, but it is also fun. You have to admit to me that during quarantine, you were bored, like don't even lie. You were bored, you wanted to go back to school, you wanted to see your friends, and I have to say that school is when you don't look at like the work part of it because sometimes it can be exhausting school is actually like really fun because you get to see your friends you get to play yeah like you play when you're 13 like so what like you get to play you get to talk and like there's some subjects that are really fun like your favorite subject like i really missed oh yeah <laughs> then you find my teachers watching they're like when you don't miss me teaching you so let me not mention any teachers but um yeah school is supposed to be fun and like it is fun like the experience is really fun and when you're on holiday like you're bored because you're like i wish i was in school so it is fun uh anyway let's move on to question number four hey abby should children lie to please their parents well, uh, no, you shouldn't because the truth is going to come out eventually and like <laughs> you're going to be in trouble when it does. But um, also, I feel like it's good to just like, you know, tell them so that you don't have to tell them after and like, you know, disappoint them even more. So just tell them when it's soon as like possible. And like, I feel like you should make it sound like it's something completely terrible. So that when you say it, it doesn't sound like as bad as you made it seem. But train yourself to like tell the truth all the time. Even though like you're like, oh my, oh like, <laughs> um, I might not leave past today. But say the truth because even though <laughs> you, you fear like maybe it will turn out well just because you said the truth. <laughs> Let's 
गेट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव Hey Abi if I don't read my bible every day will God punish me <gasps> Well no he won't punish you although it is an amazing habit no God won't punish you for not reading his word every day But that doesn't mean that you now you stop reading your bible every day if you are already doing it It's a good habit and by the way it helps you pass your really like like literally 90% of theory questions is like from the bible and like the other 10% is from the textbook so like read like if you read your bible like your that's almost 100% guarantee that you're going to pass theory but um that's just it for today i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and well if you have any question post it in the comment section down below bye